what up, y'all? It's your girl, Shinoob. That was a terrible intro. Fuck it, we're going with it. It's Sunday, and it's Ruby season, so you know what that means. It's reaction time. After the success of the premiere last week, I'm actually really, really excited to watch episode two. It is in the afternoon for me, which is why the lighting is crap, and also means I have had to stay off of social media since... 13 hours ago. But I've heard word on the grapevine that this episode is quite the shocker. Some people saying that there was uh, emotional things in this episode, so I'm going to try not to go in with those expectations. Also realises that she hasn't brought the episode up yet. Well fucking done, she noob. Oh, I'm not even logged into my first membership. Rude. I just got home from Hobart last night. My studio is almost finished. So over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be a couple of ugly videos where my background is just, you know, moving. So don't mind that. Also, the bootcast is returning. We're doing the first one tomorrow, but ordinarily they will be live streamed every Saturday morning at 8 AM Australian Central Daylight Time, I think. Which will be Friday night for most of you. It will be live streamed immediately before the Nerds of Oz and Imperial Dawn stream at the Corner of Remnant. If you want to know the time that it's being live streamed in your time zone, you can head on over to my Twitch. Underneath the stream, it will show you the time in your local time zone. Anyway, let's watch episode two. It is called Uncovered, and the thumbnail was Oscar reaching out looking, um, or I'm gonna say it's Ozpin actually. Having seen the trailer, I'm worried about this. Something's about to go down. Something big. Also, sorry, I'm gonna sit on this side of the video from now on because it's easier for me to do thumbnails that way. Hey, intro! This is my new favorite intro, this one. Oh! Go again! Ruby looks so cool. They all look awesome. Oh, I didn't even notice Weiss's expression there before. Move fast. The darkness cannot last. No hope, no path. But we got a train to crash and we cannot wait. Trust the way. I'm just paying attention to everything. He's... There's a lot going on in this intro. That's definitely Oz, the statue. This animation is so good! It looks so slick. Yes. My girls. Here we go. Cinder! <gasps> I knew it. She's in water. She's frozen. <gasps> I knew it! You don't kill Cinder that easily. I'm surprised we're seeing this now, though. Oh god, she is cold. This is a cool way to start the episode off. Oh, and the episode description is, no matter how hard you may try to bury it, the past will always claw its way back to you. I see now. Claw is a pun. Ha 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 ha, rooster teeth. God, are you okay? Where did you? <gasps> That's the robes. She steals them from her. Oh, we 
you need to take the relic to Atlas? That's what I was Flashback? Saying. You've got to be joking. <laughs> I mean, bright side. We finally get out of this house. Well, yeah, trust but... me, I'm not crazy about it either. Why well, just left Without Atlas? The spring maiden here to seal the relic back in its vault. It's our best option. Well, I didn't Atlas expect this. Atlas may be the safest kingdom we have at the moment, but their borders are closed. General Ironwood called everyone back. Uh, not everyone. The city of Argus is a ways north of us, and it's the primary trading port between Anima and Solitas. They've got the largest Solitas. Atlas military base outside of the kingdom. There's no way they'd leave it abandoned. And if we play our cards right, I think there's a good chance we could convince them to escort us straight to Ironwood. I mean, we do have the missing heiress to Schneeda's company. Ex heiress, actually. True, true. But if there's a chance of reward money, I say we go for it. <laughs> Hopefully yeah, the first bitch. option will suffice. Glad to see you're feeling better. Likewise. And while I'm sure we could all use more time to recover, I'm afraid time is of the essence. Right. As long as that thing's out in the open, its power could fall into the wrong hands. Speaking of, what does it do exactly? Crow never really told us. Of course. The Relic of Knowledge has a wonderful and incredibly dangerous ability. It can change size. This user can ask any question, and the lamp will provide an answer. Ah. Intriguing. That's incredible. Indeed. However, it's not without drawbacks. The lamp cannot tell you of events that have yet to happen, and it will only ever answer three questions every 100 years. Oh, wow. Well, I guess that's not so bad. It's a genie lamp. Adds then. a lot of pressure, though. <laughs> I'm gonna do a what should we ask first? Oh, can we ask for more questions? Can we ask for more questions? They're not wishes. <laughs> I'm They're afraid not you won't wishes. be able to ask it anything at the moment. Mm. The questions were used before I sealed it away. Well, at least now we know what it is. And we'll be sure to keep it safe. I wasn't expecting that. That was really cool. Great. This is just great. We're stranded. We lost a third of our party. And we have gained a defenseless old lady. <laughs> Yang, relax. It could My be worse. name is Maria Caravera, and I am not defenseless. I'm just a little hard of hearing and blind without my eyes that are in desperate need of repair. Okay, so those are her eyes. Okay, I'm starting to see your point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ilya, if we lose our cool now, we'll just be inviting even more Grim. I Does love her matter? already. Apparently, we've been attracting Grim since we left Haven. Oh, and how could I forget about that? What happened to no more lies and half-truths? Yeah, I think it's time we got an explanation. Poor Oscar. I did not lie to you. Well, you certainly didn't tell us everything about the relic. Mm, look at those two! Now is not the time. No, we're past that. I want to know why you're still not telling us everything. Yeah. It is true that the Grim are attracted to the relics. It's faint but undeniable. I believe it has to do with their origin, but I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, I feared that making you all aware would only add anxiety and negativity. It seems like the safer option. You know, I'm getting real tired of people choosing what's best for me. Is that mm. why you chose to lie to everyone about Lionheart too? Yes, as a matter of fact. I believed the Kingdom of Mistral deserved better than the truth. And I believed Leonardo deserved to be remembered for his lifetime of service, and not the unfortunate missteps he made in his final years. Missteps? What Professor Lionheart did was reprehensible. I am not here to argue differently. But does one lapse in judgment truly negate all of his good? Do we not all have regrets? You may have met Professor Lionheart, but you never met the man he was before Salem found him. Look, we're supposed to be in this, together. You can trust us. We're not going to turn our backs on you. Do you really think Leo was the first? That he didn't say those exact same words to me? 
I'm sorry, but you have to understand that my behaviors are backed by experience. I'm not saying that I have reason to think you will betray me. I'm saying that I have reasons for the things that I do, the secrets I keep. The reason I... Where's the relic? Right here. It got scattered in the crash. Please, hand it over. No. So all those times you talked about having faith in humanity? That was just for everyone else? Uh, that's not what I meant to suggest. Miss Rose, the relic is a powerful item, and I simply feel as though it is my burden to bear. But you said it couldn't do anything right now. Why does it matter who carries it? I need you to listen to me. What the? Buzz? Uh, hurry. He's trying to stop you. Stop her from what? He's afraid he'll find out what he's hiding. Her name is Jen. Say her name to summon her. Her name? What the... Jim? What? What the heck? Even Crow doesn't know what's going on. She's a genie. Wonderful. What the heck? Tell me, what knowledge do you seek? Oh, oh, come on! Oh, thank God. I thought the episode just ended. I was gonna say that was short. photo of Cinder. It was her in the intro then. Case closed. Miss Muffet. That's far enough. I'm rolling my eyes at what she's eating. Where did she get that Leanne from? Okay. Stole it. You're little Miss Malachite. I'm little Miss gonna skin you alive if you ever take that tone with me again. Looks like your life savings. It was somebody's. <laughs> Cute. What do you want for it? I'm looking for these travelers. Oh, shit. Well, sweetheart. You came to the right place. Hey, right. How do you mean? <laughs> a little jumpy today, hmm? You know, I used to be afraid of spiders. Wanna know what I did about it? Learn to kill them. Oh no. The world needs spiders. I just made the spiders work for me.
Give us a week. We'll find your travelers. Little miss, we already know where they are. That big guy asked about them last week. I know what we know. But what we don't know is who here in Mistral might be asking about her. I am Jin, a being created by the God of Light to aid humanity in its pursuit of knowledge. I've been graced with the ability to answer three questions every 100 years. You're in luck, as I'm still able to answer... That's enough! Two questions this era. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you again, old man. Oh, God. Ruby, please, don't. Hey. Oh. Do whatever you think is right, kiddo. Jin? What is Ozpin hiding from us? No! <gasps> oh, God. Once upon a time, there stood a lonely tower that sheltered a lonely girl. Named Salem. <gasps> it is Salem! Dawn, you were right! Oh, it is Salem! What? I did not see that coming. Man, Dawn called that. What the? Um. <laughs> okay. That episode was amazing. what I don't know how to react I don't know what I'm thinking I don't know what I'm feeling I don't mm. <laughs> what the hell? Ah! <laughs> I, I literally don't have the brain capacity to process everything that I just saw she is blowing up in Ozpin's face what a surprise we all knew that was gonna happen Salem what did Oz do to her this is about to get very, very juicy, and I'm very excited. I never trusted Oz completely. I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's a little corrupt, if anything. What happened to Salem? I need to know. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. That episode was so good. Oh my god, that was so good. That was amazing. Oh, they have outdone themselves with that. I'm glad that we're also getting... A lot of answers to questions we've had for a very long time so quickly into this volume or well, we're starting to get them at the very least even crow seems surprised at all of that so osman has not told him everything that was so good i'm like reeling from that oh my gosh i need to go skype people <laughs> and talk about this episode because that was insane what the Okay, I clearly need some time to collect my thoughts. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you're watching this reaction right now, the Boopcast episode two of season three, oh my god, will be 
up on YouTube later today. So keep your eye out for the bootcast and it is live streamed every Saturday like I mentioned. Links will all be in the description and remember you can watch this episode for free right now on roosterteeth.com. Again, link in the description. And I will see you next week. I, I can't wait for next week now. Holy crap. I can't wait. Bye. <laughs>